into her stage right. Now that we've made the bucket bench, actually this is this is my old one. But hey, if you can see, I put all the green stuff on the bottom. So I actually have all new stuff. It's just that this one was still attached to here. So and this is what we did out in the garage. We had attached this trunk to this angle bracket and split it into threes. So we're just going to do the down and dirty tree here. I've already split it. So I'm going to take the needle nose pliers and I'm going to start by twisting this, getting really down close to the, the intersection or crotch. Let me spin this around. Maybe you can see it better over here. Better? Can we see that? So what I'm doing is I'm giving this a little squeeze to kind of mash it together. And going around, not really twisting it, just going around and squeezing it just to get them all nice and lined up. And then I'm going to give it a squeeze. <clears throat> there we go. A little twist. Uh, you can't actually see what I'm doing here. But you can. Yeah. But to keep this thing from spinning around, I'm putting my foot over here on this side of the bucket. There. That way it doesn't just spin around. See what I mean? I guess if I was to get a little more innovative, I'd actually stick a pin in there to where it would only it would only turn so far. Anyway. <clears throat> there. Now we put a twist on that one. We'll get a hold of this one. Kind of roll it a little bit to get it started in that direction. Squeeze it to line things up. Squeeze it and turn it. And it's lining up. All the wires are lining up. So I don't have overlapping. And if they do, so what? It's a tree. You can either split it directly, like directly in half, say for instance this, that would be pretty much in half, or you could take a percentage of it, let's say a third, let's just take a third of this one. Mm, 
missed a wire. Well, just back this wire out. Try to make it fit in with the other two thirds. Yeah, we can do it. So there we have it. We have one third here, two thirds there, coming out of one branch. This other one, I think. Which one was the big one? Uh, not that one. This one. We'll go ahead and break this one directly in half. Down here at the bottom. that one directly and spin it back here to where it's in front of me. There's one. We'll make this one a little bit longer of a branch. There we go. So now we've gone from three branches to five branches. This is the one that we took a third, two thirds. Now we're going to go ahead and split it in half. So, let's see. There's, oops, caught one. number six, how are we going to split it? In half, in thirds, maybe quarters. Yeah, let's give, let's give it quarters. So if we say that's half, okay, half, we've got two more of them out there, and then we'll take the two halves, each half, split it, so I'm going to end up with four coming out of this one. See, this is where you get poked. These things are, that'll hurt. Ouch. This one, ouch. So I'm just going to kind of bend these out of the way a little bit. And get the twist on this one. <coughs> There's that one. There's no rhyme or reason or pattern to what I'm doing here. I'm just, as I go, just grabbing a chunk of wire and twisting it and going, there's another limb. Like that. There's another limb. This one. Grab it. And I am turning these clockwise, and I'm going to be going clockwise probably on this whole tree. So every twist I make is going to be a clockwise twist. There we go. Now I've gone from my initial three branches in a relatively short time to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine branches. Oh. Commercial break.
Time for soda. These nine, same thing, I'm going to divvy them up. Maybe in half, maybe in thirds, maybe in quarters. Well, let's start off with this one. This is one of our main ones. We'll go ahead and take that one down by what looks to be half. finish up with usually twos on mine. So here I've got, well actually it's going, I don't know how we're going to call it, branch, limb, twig. So this is the branch, this is the limb, and then off of this limb is my twig. And my twigs I usually run in twos. So then I've got two, four, and six. So this one is actually going to be the last of this limb. Once I make it into a twig, it goes no farther. So once I get down to two, that's usually as far as it goes. Okay, I'm going to split that. Get my pliers down in between here. Move those out of the way. So I get a nice spiral. That's a nice spiral in there. Well there's two. Those are out of my way. These four I'm going to go ahead. Actually it's six. I'm going to give them another twist. Come off with another two. Spread them a little bit. Grab a hold. Get my spiral going. There's another twig. This one is just going to come off by itself. There's one. And here's one. And there's our first limb and twig configuration. See that one? How it ends up. And we can straighten these out. Fold it down. There we go. And if we were doing a, a wind swept, or as the as the wind blows against them, that's probably too it'd be we need some contrast there so we can see what's going on. If I had a black something. I put a little bit of arch in them. Let me see. Let me see. There we go. Actually, arch them up a little bit. Maybe put a little bit of a roll in it. Get all my limbs aim in one direction. Like the wind is blowing down across them, blowing them out of the way. Just like that. one. And we'll do the same thing. Mm -hmm. This is where I was saying I used that uh, the wax thread to keep these things out of my way. White wax thread. One knife. I'll do is I'll take the wax thread, put a slip knot in it, 
say if I'm going to be working on this limb right here, this limb, this limb, they need to get out of the way. So, take my slip knot, capture this limb. Put a slip knot kind of around this one. Capture it. Then take both of them, pull them out of the way. This one. What the heck, are they beating the dog over there? Sounds like it. Actually, I think what they have is they have a cockatiel over there that attacks their dog. Vicious. Okay. If we get to zoom in on just what I'm doing right here. hold of this set of wires. This is my other limb. I'm going to break off. I want to try to keep it even so I always end up with two. Oh, I don't have to. I've ended up with three before. Three or four and you just chop it off and you're done. Try to keep a count on what I've got going here. Let's see. There's two, four, six, eight, nine. Obviously I'm going to end up with one extra. So I'll start out with a... Actually it's not wrapped real tight. I'll get another twist on this. <coughs> yeah, that's better. Okay, there's two. Get them started. Spread them apart. Get in between them. Get the nice little spiral going. And just kind of get them, for now, just get them down and out of the way. Then come back later and do the detailing on it. The final twist. I'll give this one another. There we go, that's a little tighter. Grab another two. Give it about three spins. Spread them apart. Get in between. And then tighten my twist up a couple times. There we go. That's better. I'll go ahead and grab another two here. Oh, there we go. Whoop, dropped one. But hey. There's no really right or wrong way to do this, just as long as you end up with a bunch of wires that are twisted together. This is the one that's going to be three, so it's uneven. So I'm going to grab these two. And I'll have that third one ready to go. We're going to take a break here first. And there we go. Presto changeo. What we've done is we've taken and we've twisted all these into little pairs of twos. When I'm going for the, the windswept look like this, to where it looks like the wind's blowing on this side and all the limbs are going that away, <coughs> I'm taking the angle base back here and that's where I'm starting I'm taking all of them and basically pointing them in that direction this is just my point of reference so I know which way all the limbs are going to end up pointing and I'll just start at the back and start bending them either up or back putting a little curve on the end of each one of them and angling it towards the direction that that angle bracket's pointing <sighs> and that's pretty much it that thing is, that's complete. And 
and all it was was starting out with the three big branches going to uh, two smaller limbs, three smaller limbs on each one so it's just a, a progression of divide by three, divide by three, divide by three until I got to the very end and then it was just two wires left over just like that there we go next thing we're going to do is we're going to take it out of here here's our nut driver disconnect it from here driving by with their super boom boxes thumping. Today's just one of those days. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, complete the root system and then after we complete the roots we're going to go into the uh, anchoring it to a rock. You can anchor it to just about anything, a rock, a piece of wood. Okay. There we go. Let me get this out of the way a little bit. Okay. Here we've got our our root system. Yeah, see how that turned out? So what we're gonna do on the roots is we're gonna peel these things up. And just I'm going for the outside layer only. So everything that's like right next to that hose clamp is what I'm calling my outside layer. And I usually get about five separate root systems going. Larger wires are just a kind of rough to work with when they're short like that. There's a section. Ouch, there we go. Well, I've got them. These are all my outer my outer layers. Outside. <clears throat> okay. So what I'm ending up with here is this. See that those are those are my outsides. It's kind of hard to see those, but I've got this inner wad. That's my inner core there, and then I had peeled these off, and those are just my outer wires. The outer wires, I'm going to group them together, so I end up with five groups, two, I'm missing a couple there, so there's three, with that one, four, five, so now I have Yeehaw! The five outer groups of wires. And to get my roots to taper, I'm going to cut all these at an angle. This is another time when safety glasses might be handy cutting on these things. Let me get this over here. do it 
is I'm going to cut these at an angle. You see how it's nice, basically in flat, going this way. Could put an eye out. Okay, now I've taken that flat one and cut it at an angle. I'll go to the next one, same thing. I usually stick this down in a trash can when I'm doing this so those little pieces that are flying all over the place they kind of fly directly into the trash can because I sure would hate to be sitting around with tweezers trying to pull one of those little chunks of copper out of the bottom of my foot or even worse having to pull one of these little pieces of copper out of a dog's foot. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these, these other ones. These are the ones that I was telling you about my leftovers. And I'm just taking these a little bit at a time. Be kind of hard to take that whole chunk at once. I'm making a mess. But you can see where I'm going here. I don't need all that root system to support this thing once I get it stuck to a rock. Okay. Ouch. So you see what I've got left. I've got this little stub down here. And I've got these, which I'm actually going to twist into individual tapered roots. So, maybe I should do it upside down. It'd be easier to see. But roots, by nature, are kind of gnarly. They're not perfect. that I end up with a taper like that. Let me see it from the bottom. So that ends up kind of like that. That's what it looked like from the top. Go ahead and twist this one up. Can you see those? that gives the root the tapered look like so and if we didn't cut these wires on a little bit of a taper you just end up with something that looked like this sticking straight out of it all the wires would just come to an end so now we give it the little where the heck are we there we are a little taper on it. There's that one. There's that one. Got one left. This is going to be one of the bigger ones. Okay. 
Yeah, we end up with this. Oh, look out, something fell over. So it ends up looking like a little starfish. It's got that, still has kind of a big 